Put your car in the hot water first. What? You gotta put your car in the hot water, see if it changes colors. Get no. Don't do that. curbside pickup. I dropped the kids off at school. Today is Tuesday, so they had a nice long three-day weekend, which was a super productive one. As you guys saw in my last video, I got tons of things built and done, and then yesterday, I just decided to go ahead and like transfer everything from my husband's old dresser into his new one because we ended up building his new dresser on Sunday. So yesterday, I went ahead, transferred everything over. I was kind of debating on recording it, but I just, honestly, I just wanted to get it done. Like, do you ever just get in that mood where you're like, I just want to bust it out. I don't want to think about anything else. And that's kind of how I was yesterday. So I moved my dresser basically by myself. I did have Adrian like get on one side of the dress dresser and push so I could pull because that dresser, it has to be, I'd say close to 500 pounds. Like it is extremely heavy. I can move a lot of weight, but that dresser was tough. <laughs> so Adrian helped push a little so I could pull and I got it into place. I'll show you guys whenever I get home and after I show you all my grocery haul and stuff, I'll show you the new setup, but I'm so happy. I was able to move my dresser over and then I moved all my husband's clothes into his new dresser and then me and Aubrey carried the old dresser upstairs because my husband has been working so late, you guys. Like I mentioned before that he got, you know, he got promoted and with him being like in his new position, he's just trying to learn everything and he's definitely a overachiever. So I know he's just trying to, you know, do his absolute best. So he's been working so late. Like he doesn't get home until really around 8.30. Like that's how it's been the last two weeks or so. So I was like, you know what? I just want to move it myself because, you know, I would likely have to wait until the weekend to move it. So I was like, you know what? Aubrey can help me. I know she's strong enough. And my husband's old dresser was not heavy at all. So we were able to carry it upstairs. I... We have to do some rearranging up in the game room to fit that dresser, but at least it's up there for now and out of our bedroom. But it just feels so no, good. No. What, baby? I keep got it. You saw it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, huh? I keep, like, um, um, I keep, um, um, Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. But, you guys, rearranging the house is probably like one of my most favorite things to do. There's just something about like switching up furniture and changing things up. It just, I don't know, it's kind of like decluttering. It's just the best feeling ever. Here is everything that I picked up from H-E-B. Gonna start over here. I picked up two things of yogurt. We've been eating tons of Greek yogurt recently. We really enjoy this one, the two good, but I really wanted some more of my Dannon Light and Fit. 
This stuff is so good. I just got it in vanilla so I could get a big tub of it. And we've been topping it with fruit. So delicious. I also got some more organic half and half. I'm just using either half and half or heavy cream in my coffees now with my liquid stevia drops. And then we needed some more fruit for smoothies. And I thought this tropical blend would be really good. So I got two packs of that. I got some of these no sugar added popsicles for desserts for the kids. The kids have been complaining that we didn't have any like designated dessert items like we usually do. So I picked up some healthier popsicles and then I also decided to try some of this frozen yogurt. I've never tried the HEB brand, but I was looking at the nutrition facts on it and this is much better than um, like regular ice cream sugar wise so this one has 15 grams of sugar only six of them are added sugar so the rest is just naturally from the yogurt and then it does have four grams of fiber which is really good so i got vanilla and then i also got caramel truffle i think those were the only two flavors that they actually offered but hopefully that's good i'll let you guys know what they think about it and i'm going to be eating that as well and then, like I said, I got some fruit to top oh. our yogurt with. So I have blueberries and three things of blackberries. What, baby? On it. There's a sticker on it? Yeah. He loves that little toy, you guys. It's something he got for Christmas. It's like a car wash. And you run the cars through it. So that's why we have a towel down because, yeah, it's messy, but he loves it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you for giving me that. You're welcome. Oh, I love you, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I got a thing of asparagus. I wish they had a like notes section because I don't like fat asparagus. I only like skinny. Yeah, you can pick a snack. Um, and these are really fat. So I'm just gonna have to cook them extra long because I don't know, I just like the skinny asparagus better. And then I picked up a 30 count of brown eggs because we're almost out of eggs. Also got my favorite baby Bella mushrooms. I love to put those in my scrambled eggs and I haven't been doing that recently so I decided to pick some up. You want to eat this? Yeah. Okay. We also needed some more bread so I got two honey wheat loaves of bread for the kids for their lunches. I also haven't had bagels in a while so I picked up some Dave's Killer Bread bagels. The blueberry, these ones are my favorite. And I like this because it is organic, non-GMO, and it does have three grams of fiber, so that is pretty good. I needed some more veggies, so I got three bags of broccoli florets, and then I got some peas, and I thought this would be a good addition to the smoothies for the kids. They are some avocado chunks. That way there's more fat, so they're more filling. And then I also got two things of milk because the kids have been drinking chocolate milk recently. So got two things, that way we don't run out of milk. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up from HEB. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. making my breakfast. I'm just sauteing some mushrooms. I'm gonna add two eggs, and then I'm also having one half of my bagel. Then I'm gonna get in a little workout. I'm gonna go ahead and have some of this kimchi. I haven't had kimchi in a little bit, and I'm you know, trying to eat all the good fermented foods. So I'm just gonna have some on the side. And then my bagel, I'm just gonna top with some butter. Butter is my favorite on top of bagels. Just finished my breakfast, but before I get started on my workout, I did wanna show you guys our room and what it's looking like. I am so excited so far. It's not complete, but it's definitely getting there. So here is our bedroom. So that is our new dresser that me and my husband built. 
and we plan on putting the TV up there. We just haven't mounted it yet. I have the mounting stuff right there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these baskets. This one is like falling apart. I swear every time Ethan sees it, he loves to just like pick at it. So there we go. But I'm not sure if I want to keep those over there or where I might move them to. But I really love my dresser over here. I didn't think that I was going to like it in front of the window. But it really makes this room feel so much bigger having it over there. Um, just opening up this wall really helped. So yeah, this is what our room is looking like right now. And then there is the TV. We're not sure if we want to have the TV right above the dresser or if we want to move the dresser over to one side. It's just a really big wall. So we don't know how it's going to look, you know, with just a TV and a tiny dresser above or below it. So we're going to see. But I did organize all of my husband's stuff nice and neatly. We'll see how long it stays nice and neat. <laughs> But he does still need to go through his clothes because he has quite a bit of pants. And I know he doesn't wear them. He always gravitates to like a few pairs. So, but everything is nice and neatly organized inside of there. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with my vacuum. And I don't know if I'm going to keep that black stand here or not. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. I just can't seem to find a good space for my vacuum because all of our closets don't have outlets. So like I have to put it somewhere and yeah, for right now it's going to be right here. And y'all, my closet is so bad. Once again, I just, <laughs> I just did this closet not too long ago, but we need to redo it. Um, I did end up putting our mirror just in here for right now because honestly I don't know what I want to do with it. We might put it back into the room but for right now it's in the closet. And then I'm going to show you guys what I got going on in my workout room slash office. I'm also super excited. I know I said that we're saving money which we are. We are trying to budget and save money but since we're kind of decluttering and rearranging the house, we've had to buy, you know, like the dresser and the stand. And then since I was turning this room into my workout room, I've always wanted a treadmill. It's kind of just been something that I would love to have at home, especially now I don't even go to the gym anymore. I canceled my membership, so I just would like to have a treadmill. So I told my husband, I was like, hey, what do you think about getting like a fold up treadmill? That way it doesn't have to take up a ton of space. It's mainly for walking. I mean, yeah, I'll be able to run on it too, but I'm not much of a runner. But just to be able to get on a treadmill, get my steps in, especially because some days I'm just more sedentary because I edit and, you know, I do a lot of computer work. So it would be nice just to hop on a treadmill, get a walk in. It's so hard to walk with Ethan because, you know, toddlers, they get wore out or they just want to go play at the park. So I ended up ordering a fold up treadmill. I did tons of research, tried to look at all the reviews, find the best quality for like the cheapest price. So I ordered it off of Amazon. It's supposed to come in tomorrow. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. But for right now, this is what my workout area is looking like. So when you walk into the house, this is what you see. Here's my new stand. I decided to move the plant over there just because it was blocking our light switch. And then I put my Scentsy over here. And then I ended up moving my desk over here. I kind of pushed it a little further to this side. I put Yoda's crate right there. But I plan on putting the treadmill either over here or switch my bike. For right now I have my bike catty cornered because I need to be able to turn the TV around and do workout classes right here. So either the treadmill is going to go there or I'm going to switch it up. I'm kind of thinking it might be better to do the treadmill over here because then I can fold it up against the wall and it's not noticeable. Over here, if I fold it against the wall, when you're walking by, you'll see it. So I just feel like it would be less aesthetic. But then again, I'll have a big bike sticking out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which, which side should I put the treadmill on? But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get it. And then I just put my Bowflex weights down there in the middle. And then in my stand, 
this is what I got going on. It's not nothing crazy, but I put the cat food in here. So I pull the cat food out at night for Jinxie. So if I don't crate Yoda, that would be a challenge because the dog loves to eat all the cat food. But I put my yoga mat, my yoga block, my ab roller, foam roller, and then I have a little basket. I can put my bands in, my jump out, jump rope, and then I have some weights in here. Obviously, I don't want to put my Bowflex weights in here because they're super heavy. I don't want to break it. So that's what I have in there so far. These top drawers are still empty. So I'm sure I'll find something to store in here. I was kind of thinking I could move my wax melts into here because, you know, make a little bit more sense. But I'm loving how everything is coming together. I can't wait to just finish up this room, have it all organized. I'm slowly going through the house and decluttering. Ethan has been asking me for quite some time to cut his hair like Austin. He brings it up all the time and we've kind of been like putting it off just because we really love his mullet and his long hair, but he was just asking again if he could get his hair cut. So I texted my husband and he was like, okay, fine. So I just scheduled an appointment. We have about 30 minutes to get there. So we are gonna take Ethan to go get a haircut. So turn around, let's show him how long your hair is. Oh my goodness, I can't, but ooh, Ethan, careful. <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna cut all his hair off. Yeah. I don't think I wanna go like too, too short. Um, I wanna keep a little length up at the top just because I like, just like a little length. So we'll cut the back off and then do a trim on the front. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you're gonna get a haircut. You're a big boy. <laughs> he put his rain to. boots on. You want to? Yeah. Okay. All right, mommy's gonna get her shoes on and then we're gonna go. <laughs> you're silly. Oh my goodness. Go on to get a haircut. I got my tea. Oh, through the garage, buddy. Why? Remember, the car is in the garage, silly. I'm um, I get to owe you a coffee. Whoa, dude. You look cool. <laughs> Whoa. 